Hello, dear students of class 8. I'm here with you today at Amar Ghare Amar School. Welcome to today's English class. Hope you are doing great. Today we are going to discuss about Unit 5, Lesson 3 from your English for Today book. You can see the title of today's lesson on the screen, Making Difference, Eba Beautiful Shamima. After the discussion of today's class, we will be able to Number 1. Read and understand text. Number 2. Infer meaning from context. Number 3. Ask and answer questions. Number 4. Write answers to questions. And number 5. Write short paragraph. Now, dear students, Look at the picture and try to describe this. What do you see in the picture? In the picture, there is a girl. What do you think she is doing? I guess she is making block prints on cloth. Maybe she is designing cloths or fabrics. So, where is she working? Probably she is working in a boutique shop. As here, we can see other cloths displaying in the hangar. Now let's go straight to the textbook and read the text on the page number 49. Shamima's misery started the day she was married. Her husband was a greedy person and he used to abuse her verbally and physically. Within a few months, into her marriage, she had to leave her husband, Kamaluddin Jawadar. Now, Shamima vows to work with women who are ill-fated like her. She has 43 female members in her organization working for her. She herself trains the members and then provides them with work. She designs fabrics makes block print, brush paint, and hand embroidered sharis. She also makes three piece dresses for women and photos for men. She sells these products in her shop and supplies them outside. Shamima has a dream now, a dream to do something for the helpless people. She wants them to feel useful. They can live with self-respect and dignity. With this in view, she goes out looking for such people. Shamima finished her story with a smile. Shamima has no complaints, no regrets, no grudges. Her husband could destroy her outward beauty, but not the beauty of her mind. All she wants to do is to bring a smile on the faces of those women who are unfortunate. Shamima wants to become a famous designer. Now, let's go for a quick game. On the screen, you can see two columns. One is title as words, another one as meanings. You need to match words with the respective meanings. The words have been picked from the text you just read. So try your best to infer the meaning from the context of the text. Let's see how many you can get right. So these are the words. Outward, vow, abuse, disabled, and meaning. Impaired, promise, external, misuse, or Treat with violence. Okay, what will be the answer of outward? Yes, external. You're right. Vow, promise. Abuse, misuse or treat with violence. And disabled, impaired. More words. Dignity, regret, ill-fated, product, grudge. And these are the meanings. So let's see. Okay, with dignity, yes. Answer will be honor. Regret. 
feeling of sorrow or repentance. Ill-fated, unlucky. Product, product, an article or substance manufactured for sale. And last one, grudge, feeling of ill will or hostility. It was a fun game, isn't it? I'm sure through this game, the meanings of the words from the text has become clear to you. Now, read the passage once again for better understanding. Then we will move on to the practice session. Shamima's misery started the day she was married. Her husband was a greedy person and he used to abuse her verbally and physically. Within a few months into her marriage, she had to leave her husband, Kamaluddin Chawada. Now Shamima vows to work with women who are ill-fated like her. She has 43 female members in her organization working for her. She herself trains the members and then provides them with work. She designs fabrics makes block print, brush paint, and hand embroidered sharis. She also makes three-piece dresses for women and photos for men. She sells these products in her shop and supplies them outside. Shamima has a dream now, a dream to do something for the helpless people. She wants them to feel useful. They can live with self-respect and dignity. With this in view, she goes out looking for such people. Shamima finished her story with a smile. Shamima has no complaints, no regrets, no grudges. Her husband could destroy her outward beauty, but not the beauty of her mind. All she wants to do is to bring a smile on the faces of those women who are unfortunate. Shamima wants to become a famous designer. Now we can go to the next practice. What do you understand by her husband could destroy her outward beauty, but not the beauty of her mind? Write down in few sentences. Okay? The answer can be like this. Her husband could destroy her outward beauty, but not the beauty of her mind. By the expression, I understand that Shamima's husband was cruel and greedy, for which he was physically tortured. Her husband could destroy the charm of her physical beauty, but could not destroy her willpower for becoming a famous person and for doing something for the ill-fated women. Her strong determination and willpower saved her from inner destruction of her mind. I think it is clear for you. Now we can go to the next practice. Write down whether the following statements are true or false. If false, give the correct information. Number one. Shamima's husband destroyed her. Think about it. Yes, the answer is true. Shamima promised to stand beside the helpless women. Yes, it's also true. Number three, she has some trainers to train the women of organization. Okay, is it true? No, it's false. The correct answer will be Shamima trains the women of organization herself. Number four, Shamima wants to become a wealthy person to help others. The answer is false. Correct answer. She wants to become a famous designer. And last one, five. She had to leave her husband within a few months into her marriage. The answer is true. Now we can go to the next practice. What you need to do? You need to fill in the gaps using the words from
from the box. So what are the words? Dignity, complaints, helpless, story, useful. So this is the text and these are the caps. So let's start. Shamima has a dream now. A dream to do something for the dash people. Okay, what kind of people? Helpless people. She wants them to feel. Okay, feel what? Useful. They can live with self-respect and dash. Okay, self-respect and dignity. With this in view, she goes out looking for such people. Shamima finished her dash with a smile. Okay, finished her what? Shamima finished her story with a smile. Shamima has no dash, no regrets, no grudges. Shamima has no, yes, answer will be complaints. So, now we can go to the next practice, yes. For each question, choose the best answer from the alternatives. Number one, who did Shamima work with? Shamima works with option A, journalists, and option B, ill-fated women. So think about it. Yes, you're right, ill-fated women. Next question. What is Shamima's present dream? Shamima's present dream is to, option A, do something for the helpless people, and option B, establish a chain shop. I think you're right. Answer is, do something for the helpless people. Question 3. How did Shamima's husband torture her? Shamima's husband tortured her. Option A. Verbally and mentally. Option B. Consciously. So, the answer will be yes. You're right. Option A. Verbally and mentally. Question 4. What does Shamima do in her organization? In her organization, Shamima, option A, raises funds for people. And option B, trains the members herself. Yes, absolutely. The answer is B, trains the members herself. Last question. Question 5. What kind of dress does she make for men? For men, she makes... Option A, photos, and option B, three-piece dresses. Yes, answer is photos. Now we can go to the next practice. So what you need to do? You need to write a short paragraph about a person in your locality who has succeeded in the face of difficulties. So uh, this is a sample answer. Of this paragraph. A man named Bilal Rahman in our locality is now the owner of an integrated agro farm. He had to work hard and face cruelty of reality to reach this position. He was a talented student but he could not continue his study after HSC because of his father's death. His dream of becoming a doctor shattered because nobody from his relatives supported his family financially. So he had to take all the responsibilities of his family. At that time, he took a small loan from Grameen Bank and built a small poultry farm after completing a short training program. He worked very hard from dawn to dusk to make a decent profit from the poultry farm. He worked sincerely and within two years he paid back all his loans. He also managed to expand his farm. With his hard work, sincerity, honesty and application of latest ideas, he quickly changed his condition and managed to become the owner of an integrated agro farm. Now he has money, dignity and respect in the locality. So, this is my paragraph. 
Now you can write a similar paragraph about a successful person in your locality. Try practicing that at home. Now let's see what we have learned today so far. So today we learned about number one, reading and understanding text. Number two, inferring meaning from context. Number three, asking and answering questions. Number four, writing answers to questions. Number five, writing short paragraph. Follow the instruction of government and stay safe. Thank you again from Amar Ghare Amar School. Follow Facebook and YouTube to see the class again. So, thank you very much. Goodbye.